Police Chief Renee Hall reacting to the conclusion of the Amber Geiger trial, saying that she is committed to making any changes that might have to result as a result of this trial. Yeah, WFAA's Rebecca Lopez has been covering the Dallas Police Department for decades. Rebecca, what's your takeaway from what you just heard? Well, clearly uh, there will be that huge internal affairs investigation, which we were uh, expecting was coming. Uh, there's been people in the community that have been calling for uh, the investigation into Sergeant Mike Mata's actions that day and some other actions of uh, police officers and did they follow their general orders. So that is not surprising. Now, a lot, some of what she said as far as not rendering aid, uh, that is stuff that is taught at the academy. There are already classes, so some of the stuff is already in the general orders. Now, did they follow them properly? That's going to be something, obviously, that they're going to want the Dallas police officers to perhaps uh, get refresher courses. Sometimes they add extra courses and things like that. But some of this stuff that she is talking about is already in place at the Dallas Police Department, and they have made great strides in dealing with officer-involved shootings uh, and, and been very public about dealing with some of those shootings. And pretty transparent. Chief David Brown made a lot of changes involving the community and, and also how they respond to officer-involved shootings. So some of this stuff is in place. Uh, are they following it? Well, that's the stuff that, that they're going to have to look at in internal affairs and who didn't follow the general orders. Now, I did earlier, we were talking a little bit about some of the video that was uh, shown in the courtroom or that we got in the courtroom uh, following the verdict. And some of the piece of video that I really wanted you guys to see is the video of um, of the judge. So let's go to this video of the judge because the judge also embraced Amber Geiger. She hugged her, she spoke to her, and then she handed her one of her own Bibles and said, this is your job now. You did something bad in one moment in time. What you do now matters. And she flipped to John 3:16 and instructed Amber to study it. It talks about God's love. And in my 30 years of covering law enforcement, again, I've never seen anything like this. Afterwards, Amber Geiger walked out of the courtroom uh, where she was taken into custody. Eventually, she will be transferred to a prison here in Texas. She will be transferred in handcuffs and shackles where she will begin her prison sentence, but today, at least here at the Dallas County Courthouse, she was extended grace and love by those uh, surrounding this trial. Back to you guys. Powerful moments there, Rebecca, indeed. And you know, when